Hello everybody, welcome back to yet another review. Today we're going to be taking a look at Road Trip Filmar and the Daredevil Garage app logo. <sighs> yep, this thing again. I'm very glad that the uh, Daredevil Garage app has been gone. My original fear was that with Cars 3 they were going to do a massive overhaul update and promote the app even more, but they got rid of it six months, or sorry, like eight months before Cars 3's release, which was pretty great. So on the package, we have this really cool f picture of Fillmore which, uh, with a beautiful background. Love how Tailfin Pass looks. Route 66 sign, waterfall. Down here you have part of the town. And up here you have the Daredevil Garage app logo. I never had much of a problem with it, but I'm starting to see nowadays why people hated the logo being there so much. I personally didn't really like the app that much as it didn't really work. And there's something pretty funny on the back of the package that uh, I want to point out to you guys. So here you just got Fillmore on the bottom and his edited package art, his edited Cars 2 artwork to add these sunglasses and the Route 66 or bus sign. Now I've joined your favorite characters from Radiator Springs as they load up their trailers and head out for an unforgettable journey on the open road. The road trip logo there. And Fillmore again with a bit of an extended card art where you could see more of the town like the V8 Cafe and more of Fillmore's than you could on the other package. And then we have the Daredevil Garage app instructions. Scan car with cars Daredevil Garage app. Unlock a digital version. I'm sorry, this thing just cracks me up because it's very accurate to the app. You know why? They're scanning Cars 1 McQueen and they got a Cars 2 McQueen. It's very true because the app never really worked. Whoever I scanned in, it always, no matter who it was, said it was Beep Beep, which is a uh, circus forklift from 2015. They always said it was Beep Beep. Yep, always Beep Beep. So yeah, this is kind of a funny mistake that was made. They're showing a picture of Cars 1 McQueen, and you're getting Cars 2 McQueen. But yeah, sadly you can't see any of the other cars on the back here. Unlike the other road trip cars I've gotten, which didn't have the logo on them. And you can see a much nicer, more full photo of the car compared to this kind of shrunken down picture. See, so wouldn't you rather have this on your package? That's why I'm so glad that they got rid of the app. Alright guys, let's just get the film more out of the package here. So here's Fillmore out of the package, and the biggest uh, change is with these little sunglasses things, these little sunglass things. That makes him an entirely different model from other Fillmores. You may think his expression is the same as past variants, but his eyes are a bit bigger, making him a bit more similar to his Cars 2 version. Then you got the Volkswagen logo, which is sadly not colored in. And I think these may be like visors to protect his eyes. I'm really not quite sure about what's going on with those. You have his uh, flowers over there, his smile, headlights, 51237, license plate, and some circles and stars. Then you have the second big change, which is Route 66 or bust. Here on the side is a banner. And also he's kind of split into multiple parts as if he has like a side pl mouth plate, which is kind of weird if you could see there. Route 66 or bus, yep, with his road there, right above his actual road artwork. Then recycle your oils on the back here and a bunch of other little advertisements and bumper stickers. Here's a string that's attaching, that's attached to the Route 66 or bus sign. All these swirls and twirls and rainbows and the stars on the roof. And my favorite part of Fillmore, which is the back because of all of his great uh, bumper stickers, including my personal favorite, Save 2D Animation. And the f joke is that all the Cars movies are animated with CGI or 3D animation. So I just love how it says Save 2D Animation. That's so great. Open Road is there. Uh, Save Mother Road, Question Interstate. 100% organic fuel. Life begins at the off ramp. Bunch of other things. Drink organic oil. And the 51237 license plate again. That's what his license plate reads. The birthday of George Carlin, who voiced Fillmore in Cars 1. 
and some of the video games, I believe, and sadly, he did pass away. This road, the road on this side, uh, let's see, yeah, the road on this side curves around and starts twirling, making a bunch of weird loops, and then it becomes a road again. And there's Saturn, for some reason, don't know why Saturn's there, but it looks pretty cool. Route 66 or bust. Here would be his usual peace sign, which is, well, the, the word peace, which is partially covered up. And go natural drink organic fuel. And I'm pretty sure that, yeah, his license plate, no, sorry, the bumper stickers are different on either side. And you could actually see a Flosiate Cafe sticker, I just realized that now. Yeah, they are different on every side. Fillmore really is one of the most detailed diecasts, which makes his Precision Series diecast one of the most detailed ones ever. Anyway, guys, thank you all so much for watching. I just wish they would start coloring in the Volkswagen logo on Fillmore's. Anyway, guys, thank you all so much for watching. See you next time. Bye now. <laughs>